This protest by some residents in Koko community by the Nigerian Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, an independent marketers association in Delta State, is to plead for the reopening of the Taurus depot, which was sealed in January. We are also saying no to this systemic uh, and all gradual exploitation or enslavement of independent petroleum marketers. In that, okay, now you've heard of it, how much we have here. Because when uh, they are bringing these vessels, it is our money they used to bring these vessels before dis distributing to us. And we cannot get that access without uh, going to NNPC retail porter. And we've been shut out of this porter for over a month. Is it difficult for a, a, country, a country to know what is happening if a, a water is inside the vessel to know what causes it for five months, for crying out loud? We are pleading to the government, pleading to this government. They are trying also to join the hitman. We work together to beg our customers' money are tied down. People borrow money from bank to buy this product. The inability of the petroleum marketers to access the NNPC retail portal to pay and lift products for onward delivery to the end users is a challenge that has been highlighted by the group. My members are dying. They should open this tyros so that my members can take their product out of tyros. That is one. Two, they should open the NNPC, the retail NNPC retail portal for us to access it to buy directly from the government. Apart from Ipman, the indigents of Coco community and environs say they are suffering from the adverse economic impact of the closure of the Taurus depot and jetty. We are begging who any authority, what is their concern? If not for even Tyros and other companies when they are, at least for the sake of widows, orphans, when did they leave? Because of the benefit of this road, let them try to declare this place open for us. The depot was locked up when a team from the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority discovered that about 9 out of the 20 million litres of premium motor spirits in Okago was loaded with water. The protesters appealed to the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority to conclude their investigations in order not to push stakeholders out of business.